In this video we're going to take a look at how to create a fabrication drawing in Blueprint PCB. Uh, we're starting off uh, with Blueprint just launched and we get the startup selection and I do have a set of templates here and I'm going to go ahead and choose those and it's going to load those into Blueprint and that'll end up being my starting point. Since we are working on a fab drawing, uh, I've got page one here with a drill pattern, drill chart, layer stack up, and then I've got page two, which is actually an assembly panel drawing that uh, we can work on and, and easily create an assembly panel drawing as page two of our fab drawing with its own drill chart and mill tab details and so forth. But we're going to concentrate on the first uh, page here right now. I'm going to import data. We'll use IPC 2581 for our example here. Okay, and if I need to move things around, I can, but let's just start with this, and we'll work off of this. Okay, uh, dimensioning, real easy to do. Draw ribbon, place origin. If I drop down something like a uh, a horizontal or a vertical origin then I can just add dimensions based off of that and if I do need to flip a dimension around I just place it and then before I left click I hit the control key and then that'll put, switch it so that it's pointing the other way okay uh, we do have push and shove built into dimensioning as well all right, we're going to leave it at that for now. Uh, let's go to the layer stack up. Okay, and we're going to go to something called the stack up visualizer here. And we're going to take a look at uh, what information came across in the CAD system. Um, you can see it looks like about a, a, a mill of copper here. Um, and we'll just leave that for now. But let's just show how you can change things. I'm going to change the uh, outermost sections to 0.012 you'll notice that this updates down here you see a little bit thicker over here in the stack up visualizer I'm going to say okay to that and then eventually it's going to update our layer stack up that we have here okay so now we see 12 mils dielectric by the way in the stack up visualizer you can export and import stack ups in the 2581 format, just the stack up itself. So you can exchange that information back and forth between your fabricator and your designer or your contract manufacturer. All right, so for my drill pattern here, what I want to do is I want to show just my through holes. So I'm going to go ahead and go out to PCB CAD data, advanced, drills, and instead of doing all my drills, I'm just going to do the through holes and say OK and OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing here in my drill chart. Once again, my data. And I'm going to do just the through holes. And then we're going to supplement this with a new page here that will have our buried and blind vias shown. So we're going to document, new sheet. And on this sheet, we're going to go ahead and uh, if we need a title block, we can place that or we can, we have the revision block here or even a continuation block. Um, but on our new sheet here, we're going to go ahead and place a drill pattern and a drill chart. I'm going to show you the first one and then I'll go ahead and finish this off. Okay, so my drill pattern, I'm going to format the same way as you might have guessed. Out to advanced in my drills, and I'm just going to show the drills from 1 to 3. And okay. And then instead of my drill chart, I've got another drill chart that has layer spans in it. I could have modified this one, but I've already got one with layer spans in it, so I'm going to go out to my drill charts and see if I can find that particular one. Say OK, drop that down, and now we see we have uh, our first drill here. Let's just make sure it, it picked the correct one. This is our one to threes, which we could see right here. So we're good to go. And then what I do from there is I just simply copy. 
and paste and paste because we have three sets and then I just go in and mod modify each one okay I went ahead and finished that so I have a separate drill chart for each of my partial drills you can even do this with back drills and while we're on the topic instead of a normal stack up like we put on the first page you can actually put a via stack up and what that is is that is a stack up that shows any partial drills in it as well okay Let's go back to page one and take a look at some other options here. One of the more common things that you might do to any drawing really uh, is to add a detail or a call out. Real easy to do in Blueprint. If I select Note 2 and say add call out by number, then I can come over and snap that to something, maybe this layer stack up or maybe something else. Um, it's intelligent in that uh, if I move that around, uh, the numbering gets updated, promote it, demote it, and so forth. Um, and if you delete it, it goes away. Uh, secondary, uh, if you are using a Blueprint Viewer, which is discussed in another video, it is actually hyperlinked to the note so that you don't have to go searching for the note. And of course, you can change the balloon shapes and change your paragraphs and numbering versus lettering. All that's controlled. Uh, elsewhere in blueprint but you have full control of that so here is my two-page drawing uh, there's other things that we could add to it but i wanted to show you how you could quickly create a fab drawing that actually separated your buried and blind vias and produced more information for the fabricator so they don't have to go hunt for those